Praise the Lord. I'm presenting to you the testifier. Uh, you'll hear her. The devil afflicted her life with diabetes over a period of time. But we want to thank God that in this crusade, diabetes could not stand the power of God. Amen. So you will hear briefly her testimony. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. My name is Sister Rosemary Wokam. I'm testifying from Ibogo, from uh, Biase region. Ibogo group of district. Praise the Lord. I have been suffering from diabetes. So many sicknesses which we will hear in detail when we get to our location. But right now, I'm presenting to you that I have suffered from diabetes for two years now. I have died many days. I have been suffering with sleepless nights and all sorts of diseases. But right now, as we came on Friday, mm. I was staggering like a drunkard. Even my handbag, I could not be able to hold. But in the morning of Saturday, after we have had our morning devotion in the place we slept, my eyes was open, not in a dream. I began to see a storehouse that was open. And our Father in the Lord was in that storehouse. Amen. And he was sending out packages of uh, blessings he was sending them out, and I don't even know what that stands for. Then, on the evening of Sunday, as we came in here, after his final amen, which the word that I grabbed was that he said, if Peter's apron and uh, uh, the rest of them, he is here speaking to us, and I hear his word. I grabbed it. And after his final amen, a force went out of my life. Amen. That force that had been standing amen. as a barrier, amen. it went away in my life, amen. and I was recovered. Praise God. The, the falling aside, I could not see it again. Amen. I was strong and refreshed amen. inside me, amen. and the diabetes amen. force amen. ceased. Praise the Lord. Amen. Celebrate with Amen. me. Our pastors, our women, all our members that have been interceding for me. I am free. I am free. a blessing. Free. I am full. Amen. Let her let her walk, 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 walk back. Walk back. Walk back. Praise the Lord. Diabetes is a killer disease. But God has given her freedom and healing. Put her hand together. Just a simple prayer for the man of God. Tonight is your own night. Yes. Praise the Lord. I present the second testifier to you. The enemy struck him and wanted to take his sight away with blindness. But the devil met a power greater than his own power. Amen. So hear from him. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. My name is Ibrek Asifre. I'm from Yala region. So by the grace of God, God bring me here in this program. So before I come to this program, I was come with blindness. Seriously, eyes closed. Without not seeing, I said, what happened to my eye? I woke up one night. I just discovered that to open my eyes is a problem. And I said, what happened to my eyes? And I look for water, wash my face. To open my eyes is a problem. So I now, they now rushed me to hospital. I went to hospital, they checked, they said nothing happened to me. They don't see anything. So, but what happened to my eyes? They now gave me drugs. I take the, uh, the, the eyes to open is a problem. So I now, uh, uh, yeah, this is uh, our crusade. As well, I'm going to come to this, this crusade because of my problem. I reach here now. Before I even reach, I buy many eyeglass. I buy the second one. It did not work. I can't see well. I went there, two for it. I buy the, the third one again. It did not work. So, by the grace of God, after the man of God 
preaching, going on. Then after everything, he pray, and now I leave my hand on top of, uh, um, close the, my hand in my eyes. So after the prayer, the last uh, amen, I now discover that I can see everywhere. Amen. So I was supposed to, I was supposed to testify the, the, the testimony. I said, no, I need to, to observe the eye first, whether it is real or not. So I went yesterday, the same thing. I, see, I can see very well. I walk, even this, morning, this afternoon, I went to the field and play ball with uh, our... Put your hands together. Thank Put you. your hands together. It's a great God. Simple prayer. Not, not a touch. Just the word of God through prayer. And now it's free. Shall we say freedom? Let's testify. The last Praise word. the Lord. Are you excited? You can hear him. He said he had to go to the field today to play football. Praise the Lord. Now, we have another testifier here. Uh, he was involved in a serious accident uh, some times ago and uh, had some injury. And that has troubled him. But in this program, the balm of Gilead mm. took away his pain. Amen. Listen to him. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. By the grace of God, my name is Bernard Oka from Ogoja region. On the 15th of last month, my si four of us, my sister, I, and two other persons, we are coming back from Ogoja. We are going to our house. On our way going back, we were knocked down, knocked down by a vehicle that it was so serious that my sister dislocated her waist. The two other persons, theirs were mild, but my sister and I, ours was very serious up to the point that she dislocated her waist and some other part of her body. For me, I, one of my tooth was shaking. Even to drink water, the, the, the first few days that the incident happened was a problem. To drink water was a problem, and I don't know what to do. I was, I was taking soft drink at least, since I, even to take food was a problem. I was taking soft drink as of that time. But that could not help me. But God came to our aid. May the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. During the Divine Connection Crusade at Abuja, that was on Sunday, God healed me. God took away the pain and all the bruises. God healed me completely. And for my sister, she is well, she is okay, she is sound. I say, may the name of the Lord be praised in Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord who has done it for me, we call it do it for every one of you in Jesus' name. Amen. As I am here, even if you bring cow bone, I'll be able to, to break it. I don't know, <laughs> but the Lord has done it for me. Amen. Hear me, hear me, hear me. As you are here now, those coming also, nobody will die by accident. Nobody will die by accident. Shall we say amen? Amen. Last, last. I present the last testifier now. Um, this woman is representing her husband, whom the Lord, through the message of our pastor, whom you are going to hear this evening, some years ago, healed her husband through the power of God of leukemia. Listening to her testimony. Go ahead. Praise the Lord. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. To the glory of God, my name is Miss Collins Pufain. I, I came all the way from Port Harcourt because of this program. Some years back, my husband was very, very sick. Very, very sick that he, anytime he sees me, he will say, sweetheart, I'm dying. I'm dying. He always tells me, I am dying. I say, honey, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? I am dying. He goes over his working place and tells everybody, please take care of my, my, dog, my wife. I am dying. Whatever thing you want to give to her, give to her. So, to the glory of God, my sister, her name is Blessing. She came all the way from Edo State to Port Harcourt. Sister, let us go. Not that she heard about what is happening. She did not hear. But she came 
to tell me that, sister, let's go to Lagos. The Kumu is having crusade in Lagos, so I got ready. We now left. As we reached Porta, as we reached Lagos, the man of God was ministering. I stand in front of him. I say, oh God, I was praying. I was praying, I was praying. The man of God now mentioned, there is a woman here. There is a woman here. Your husband has nicomia, cancer of the blood. By the time you get back to where you are coming from, your husband is healed. Amen. I jumped up. I was crying. I rolled on the ground because I, I couldn't believe my eyes that what I heard was true. I was rolling on the floor. To God be the glory when I got home. And I said, God, what is the sign that you are going to give me that my husband, that you are going to show to me that my husband is healed? So I now told the Lord, I said, God, I want my husband to say, Sweetheart, the God you are serving is a really big God. Definitely my husband will not say that kind of thing. He will not say, when I got home, the first day, the second day, the third day, the fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh day, my husband called me and said, Sweetheart, the God you are serving is a really Amen. big Amen. God. Praise the Lord! Amen. That man of God is life in Calabar. So we say amen. You also speak the word, it will affect America, Japan, Russia, everywhere. So we say power. We shall stop here for now after the message, everything, the administration, then you will come out from the witch here tonight.